Nissan is bringing the Europe market Qashqai to the US, but the carmaker has apparently decided that the small crossover's name is too difficult for us Americans to pronounce, although Canadians get the car with its original moniker. Here in the US, it's calling this new offering the Rogue Sport to leverage the name recognition of its best-selling model, the Rogue. Perhaps Nissan got the idea from its new corporate partner Mitsubishi, which offers the Outlander and the smaller Outlander Sport. The 2017 Rogue Sport is 12.1 inches shorter than the standard Rogue and has a 2.3 inch shorter wheelbase, which makes it slightly larger than the Nissan Juke and other subcompact crossovers such as the Honda HRV and the Kia Soul. Despite its smaller footprint, it does share its basic platform with the Rogue meaning its strut front and multi-link rear suspension setups are retained. The revised dimensions lend the Rogue Sport a more attractive look, as the shorter front and rear overhangs make the smaller SUV look a bit more athletic. Frankly, though, we don't think most buyers will see too much of a difference between the two crossovers, as the Rogue Sport shares its grille design, wheel styling, and much of its color palette with the existing Rogue. The Sport moniker doesn't extend to the crossover's powertrain, however, as a 141-horsepower 2.0-liter four-cylinder paired with a continuously variable automatic transmission is the lone setup. Even though the Rogue Sport is expected to be a few hundred pounds lighter than the Rogue, an official weight isn't yet available, that engine isn't likely to make for impressive acceleration. To be fair, Few of the Rogue Sports competitors offer much oomph either. In our most recent comparison of subcompact crossovers, not a single entry managed to get from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 8 seconds.